Before we came on board, the client's been working with another very good Japanese architect for almost six months. But somehow things didn't work out. They were not getting what they needed. And by coincidence, we were just working on the number four school, the garden school back then. And the principal recommended us to the director of the foundation. And she came to us with this great program. But at the same time, which is a this almost impossible mission of finishing up the project in six months. Six months doesn't mean finish the design in six months, but have the building open six months from back then. We got basically maximum one month to come up with the design, got it approved. I remember one weekend, I had this idea, I said, let's just try to make one roof. That is exactly the shape of the site being offset from the property lines. And with this decided, we will have more time to work on the inside as the program is still being developed. So it's a building we design the roof first. Under this roof, we took on, well, with respect to Mies, we took on the Mies strategy. So we started to put on these concrete walls. They could lay out on this kind of three meter grid with the maximized structural span. This allows a kind of free flow of spaces. This openness and this connectivity visually make the project a very interesting kind of catalyst for people inside the space to see each other, you can see from any point of view almost in the building, you can see different things happening. I think that's really important for, for them to bring people together, you know, the sense of social interaction. Because the Chinese curriculum in the school, from elementary all the way to high school, has a very rigid system. And the social experience, the in experience of interaction with nature, and many part of, you know, it's very important aspect of growing up. It's kind of lost in, in, in the daily school experience. The variety of the spaces can be created because we take advantage of the natural topography of the site, which has a kind of subtle three meter difference. And this site opportunity created space of three different different height. So we have the three meter height being the lowest space for the workshops coming all the way to six meter high clearance for the theater. So the theater is really important for this for this project. That's where everybody meets. And we want to make the theater take on more the potential by opening the theater up. But that's really interesting when we open the theater up that create the possibility to use it multiple ways. It change the relationship of the spectator and the performance, where the, the performance can expand all the way into the courtyard, in the slope the courtyard. So this building really speaks about how a, a small building, a small architecture, a mini society can exercise a very large kind of power to bring the people together. So it doesn't have to be a big building where everywhere in China people building gigantic spaces, gigantic empty buildings. It proves you can you can you can maximize this kind of social impact with a minimal amount of resources. Thank you.